at Cedar River Spartan Stadium has a beautiful view of nature at its best. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kickers got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. Gathered in at the six. And he's tackled at the 33 yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Makes his way to about the 42. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. First down. He's hit immediately. So that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action works so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 17. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. They'll bring him down around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, second down. Run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it very We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. He converts the extra point. A nine-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. Taken at the five. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 41. From their own 41-yard line, first down. This 
one's broken up. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Nice run, and he's brought down. Four yards. That makes it third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. He wants it all going long. And got him! Touchdown! Huge play! They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 68-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Michigan State ready to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Taken down around the 37 yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's taken down around the 39 yard line. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. The Terrapins taking their first time out of the half. Second and 13. Ball on their own 39. Check, check. 
Caught out of the open. Tackle at about the 45. Hopper picks up six yards with that grab. That makes it to the side. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It's away. Short punt. He dropped it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Berger gets six yards after taking the handoff on the draw play. Touchdown, Michigan State. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Kim has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. run there that's good enough to pick up the first down good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense he's tackled at the 47 yard line that's a deep that makes it second so it's second down and about two yards to go Gains his way to the 29-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 27, Mike 27, Mike 27. Go, 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 go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make it second and three. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice play to set up first and goal. Maryland's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From the three yard line, it's second down. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. Oh, man, did he take a hit. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Maryland will take their final timeout. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 28. Four down, four down. Watch 17, watch 17. Go. Motion. Go. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. It's brought down at the 42. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Slings it, and he tackles him hard at the 47. Michigan State's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary it's a short kick a little too much leg into that front they'll bring it out to the 20 and offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. One yard loss for the halfback. to his receiver. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 40-yard line. First down. We've played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These two teams have matched each other blow for blow, just as we anticipated very evenly matched. Hardly any separation to speak of in terms of momentum or yardage gained or anything of that nature. So when you look at it, uh, what can make the difference coming up in the second half? Uh, we see so many matchups, Reese, that's big box car, little box car. You know, this is big box car, big box car. And they just keep ramming into each other. And nobody's given an inch. And it's it's great on both sides of the football. And you like what you see. But at some point, I think, who's going to give out? You know, who can make a big play, make that big play down the field, make the big touchdown, and, and get the other team off balance a little bit? Maybe it is special teams. Maybe it's somebody steps up and blocks a punt or returns a kick and, and gives their team an advantage because right now it's just two heavyweights trading punches and, and both of them still look like they're in pretty good shape. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half.
Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 22. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. It's the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 33. He fights forward to about the 36. Lost the ball. Football. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Yeah. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Didn't get all of that one. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That makes it second From the 39-yard line, second down. He's at the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Terps! That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, we'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. And he hits the PAT. Kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. Option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. The coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 40-yard line, third down. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Fourth down.
It's away. Short punt. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Maryland up seven points. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. From the 49-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Spangler to punt. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Comes across the middle. Can't find his man, and they'll turn it over. Sometimes you get a bit greedy when you're not playing from behind, and I think that's what happened here. In my mind, they'd have been better off punting and forcing them to drive the length of the field. They can really pay for it now unless their defense comes out here and makes a big defensive stop. Hey. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 33. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Run left side. Makes it to the 17. now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run that brings second, second and 13. 13 from the 20 yard line it's second down gets it off as he's hit complete still on his feet touchdown Spartans They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. They get ready to kick this one off, and the return team's looking for the onside. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. So at the end of three, we've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. All tied up, and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Caught, open field, and he's taken down around the 41-yard line. The Terrapins will use their first time out of the half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. They go to the ground game. Nice run there as they work the outside. 
That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Positive yardage. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. He's tackling around the three yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. at the two. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. This is a very important play for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Maryland! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Maryland is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. You know, and yesterday in talking to the defensive coordinator, he felt very confident that his team could step up and make plays to win this game. This is gut check time. He knows that. I could see him talk to his defense before they ran out on the field for this pivotal series. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 30. Gaining one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. The Terrapins are going to call their second timeout. Blockers or running backs got it on the screen. Brought down at the 39. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. it to the left tipped away the defense needed that one how about the move here by this cornerback great play that time getting a hand on the football they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down takes it and he's tackled short 
Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Under a minute left in the game. Hands it to the back, and they'll get him in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Nice run up the middle. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. Michigan State will take their second time out of the half. Makes it to the 31. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. From the 31-yard line, first down. Tackled after decent pickup. Good break, six yards. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. They give it to him again, and he's going to lose yardage. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Maryland's called their final timeout. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. Double They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 28-21, Terrapin. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.